Hello guys, it's September 23rd, 2017. Um, as you can see, the sky is pretty nice, weather is pleasant, and this is going to be an update of the garden. Um, right here you can see the potatoes, pretty much the same. The plants are getting big. Don't think it's really growing anymore though. Probably gonna die back soon maybe next month or something and then wh right here we have the wildflowers the california poppy i really wanted to get more space so i've been trimming the plants around it like this one and then the plain corpses you can see the flowers are coming up so we're gonna have a few more new flowers right here we have a few more like this one this is going to come up um, probably in a few days and then the crimson clovers are just still growing. Um, and right here, this tree is doing well, as you can see. New leaves are still coming up. And then the succulents below are healthy. The Venus flytrap, um, I think it's healthy, but it's probably dying back already. Because you can see the leaf color is a little more yellow than green artichoke this one is the biggest one it's still growing let's see the succulents it's growing pretty cute very tiny and then this ivy plants i'm gonna do something to it um so it's not going to uh, go everywhere i'm going to put some sticks around it and then um kind of uh, stabilize it in the pot I'll show it to you in a little bit. And then the succulents is looking healthy as well. The peony, I don't really know. Here's some weed. Just gonna remove it. Like that. And then that plant over there. I don't really know what to do with it. The slily plants, as you can see, there's some new, new plants on the dried stems, which I can transfer and plant them. This artichoke is still growing. Don't know if, if it's actually going to flower though. But yeah, it's big. You can see. Um, catnips are still growing. Um, a lot of new growth. New flowers. Here's a new growth. Um, the raspberries. As you can see, there's a lot of berries. Um, I've picked some today. Um, but most of them isn't like a fall berry. Some of them are, but most of them aren't. I don't think B has been too busy with the raspberry. Um, yeah, those are a lot of raspberry over there. Here you can see some flowers still coming up. Here's more flowers coming up. Yeah. And then the lily of the valley is for sure dying back as you can see. Blueberry, um, pretty much the same, nothing to talk about. Kelly lily still looks pretty much the same, but I think it's kind of dying back now. You can see some yellow leaves down there, so it's probably gonna die back in a month or so more than a month probably strawberries pretty much the same no new flowers no new berries i can probably harvest these ones and these ones mm, probably a few more this one is very deformed and then here we have a few more but yeah in general the strawberry has stopped growing and you can see right there it's not really growing anymore clover it's looking pretty healthy after i trimmed it uh, lacy phacelia um, most of the flower is pretty much spent it's going to seed now and as you can see i have cut away some of the older plants um, and i actually did planted some new seeds of lacy facilia. You can see some sprouts over here. So that's gonna replace the old ones and get some new flowers.
for the bees. This blueberry, pretty much the same, nothing too much to talk about. Um, and the straw flowers are still flowering. It's very pretty, as you can see. Very colorful. This one looks very pretty. Bright yellow. Very like it. Um, yeah, it's very pretty. And then the asparagus, uh, pretty much the same. Don't think there's any new growth. Probably gonna start dying back in a month or so. The hydrangea, um, more new flowers. These ones are going to be pink. And then these, these ones are the pretty pink ones. As you can see, it's pretty heavy. It's like falling down. Very pretty. And then this bigger hydrangea plants. Some some of them are still flowering. The herbs, lavender, getting big. Rosemary, even bigger. Um, and the vines, it's, as you can see, it's big. And finally, the morning glory is going to flower. You can see here's maybe four flowers. And there's a bunch more over there. Um, here's some over here too. Um, here's another few. I think the flower is going to be blue. And then here we have some more cypress vine flowers. Most of them are red. I haven't seen any other colors. And yeah, these are all the vines, pretty healthy. Dahlia, um, as you can see, the powdery mildew is pretty severe. It's gone up all the way to the top part of the plants. And these are the flowers. And I think, as you can see, there's some def deformities on this flower. It could be caused by the mildew. Um, and here's another bigger flower. Doesn't look as pretty, probably because of the mildew. Here's another new one coming up. Rhubarb, pretty much the same. And as you can see, this is what I did to the ivy vine. I put some sticks around and just kind of um, weave it into the structure. So yeah, it's pretty stable now. And it's more compact. It's gonna look pretty nice after a while. And as for the indoor garden, um, the orchids are pretty much the same. This one is probably going to die. Um, this uh, pine tree as well. Um, this orchid, there's actually three flower spike. And then the um, string of pearls are doing well. This orchid is good. This one too. There's two new growth on this one, as you can see right there. Um, new growth, peacock plants, succulents, all doing pretty well. Spider plants, fern, spider plants, um, and yeah, new growth from orchid. Oh yeah, plant is doing well. Uh, this peacock plant is doing well too.